I refuse to be somebody on YouTube that only shares you when they're super excited and super crazy and super happy and everything's always like high energy. That's cool because we have a lot of those times. But right now, I'm stressed out of my effing mind. I'm supposed to be leaving for Australia 5.30 tomorrow morning. Was supposed to be going for two weeks. Yesterday, my little dog, Poppy, broke her leg, and now we're trying helter skelter. Our assistant's gonna probably have to stay behind, but then she's actually moving back to Australia. Courtney was gonna stay, but like she needs to be there. We're gonna shorten our entire trip from two weeks to one week. The freaking house is a mess because we were gonna pack yesterday. My grandma's not doing well. My mom's in town. I haven't seen her. So I'm not gonna lie, anxiety right now pretty high just trying to figure out everything that's going on um and then even like we have a bunch of videos to shoot youtube to keep uh, on top of and what i do when i get stressed i i stress eat i'm a stress eater i'm an emotional eater i don't know some people either they don't eat at all when they're stressed other people like i just want to reach for sugary oh, icon meals does have these amazing protein popcorns this is banana split i'm not a banana split fan um, luckily, <laughs> this is my desk. This is right next to my desk. We have Icon cookies, and I've pretty much eaten all of my favorite flavors, like the peanut butter, vanilla, and chocolate. Oh, wait, what's this one? And a uh, banana split. Jason, you want banana split? Yes, nice. That seems kind of light. That's a lot. How about you want mint chocolate? Oh, that sounds better. You want, or you want a protein cookie, or a protein brownie? This is an oatmeal raisin. Let's try the oatmeal raisin. This is what I do when I get stressed out. You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna need to make a, make a uh... oatmeal raisin. Is pretty nice. Ooh, look! At least one thing has gotten done today. Haircut time. We're gonna probably go back to the old school eventually, being able to like push it back into the side. What do you think? Or more up in the front. I always have to do it up in the front because I have a really wide face and if I don't do up in the front, then I just look super duper round. Like, I got kind of wide set eyes too. I know these things. So it's not like you guys can hurt my feelings by putting it in there. You guys wouldn't want to do that anyways. Hey, let's go eat. How's that sound? Wanna go eat? Yeah. Starving. And look, this is another victory. I didn't open this. If this would have been <laughs> the peanut butter one, I definitely would have opened it. Let's go eat. Yo, let's go in and out. Oh, I thought I dropped my ketchup, that's good. This is how I roll. Protein style, double single, light spread. Macros on that are pretty dang good. And then I would go with fry, because I gotta get my carbs in. And technically, potatoes are a vegetable. And also, I'm not gonna get to eat this in Australia. I don't eat this that often, but just knowing that there's not gonna be one in Australia made me want it today. Yo, if I was a bird like these, I would definitely wait outside of in and out And I would be the most swole bird ever because I would be like getting so big that I would be taking people's food from them. Also, the other thing while I was eating that delicious in and out burger that I was thinking, in and out has a good thing going. You see all these other fast food chains like trying to add crazy things like the chip, triple Dorito, chip, chipotle thing at Taco Bell, things like that. Like put like apple and Taco Bell, I don't know, what was it, the gordita, chalupa. I can't pronounce them all. What was that apple thing? The empanada. That was actually a good one. But no, what does in and out do? They stick with tried and true. Why? Because they're the best at it. When you're the best at something, you don't have to get wild and crazy and like try to trick people into coming to your restaurant. The same I think goes just for anything in life. If you're the best at something, you don't need to be fancy. A grande would be good. Okay, anything else for you guys? Uh, uh, no, that'll be good. Alrighty, 827, we'll see you up here at the window. Thank you. You're welcome. Today, there'll be lots of caffeine consumed. We still have to shoot three videos and pack and look after Popster, but more importantly, hit shoulders. Actually, that's not more important than Poppy. That's definitely not. We're gonna go home and we're gonna see her, and you guys, your heart's probably gonna melt. Like, we're not gonna go home right now, we gotta go back to the gym, but at some point today, you guys are gonna see her and her little cast hobbling along just wondering how she's gonna make it in this big world with dad being gone. I'll always be with you, Poppy. I'm kind of like Mufasa and your Simba, okay? Except for I'm not gonna get killed by wildebeest in Australia. Knock on wood. I don't think Australia has wildebeest, so, but they do have crocs. The dingoes. The dingo ate my baby. Freaking, I love the way Starbucks smells. 
Oh, it smells like energy. It smells like pure caffeine. I just want to have them put it in my veins. Should I ask her if they have just have like caffeine IV? Yeah. Just hook me up to an IV of Starbucks. How are you? Right, good. 827. 827. There we go. Thank you. Alright, do you need your receipt today? Uh no thanks. Okay. Do you guys ever just do like drive through IVs? Do you guys just put a coffee IV in my we'll arm? Pick ourselves up when we have to be here at 430. Ooh, morning. yeah, I would definitely do that. <laughs> and about that life. Alright, you're all set guys. Have a good day. Thanks Thank for you. you. I appreciate the Starbucks lady's sense of humor. She didn't just look at me like I'm crazy. Hey Siri, call Nene. Calling Nene. Home. <laughs> Siri's so white. Calling Nene. <laughs> Watch me whip. <laughs> Nene. <laughs> Are you with Grandpa? He's in the ambulance. So she had a stroke. Do you want me to come over there here soon? Tell us when you want us to come over. I have to go home and 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 get Poppy because Courtney has supposed to have some shoot she's doing here in half hour. All right, well just keep me updated, man. When it rains, it pours. All right, love you, bye. Oh hi, hi. So she was playing. Neither Courtney and I were really home. Nay was was watching her, and like so many times before. You know, she'll be on the couch and she can jump on and off the couch, but she was playing and uh, she just played and fell off the couch and landed on her Little her foot. foot. Nothing really can anyone can do, but she just got to wear this cast and for four weeks and she's so freaking sad about it. Can I see you walk? I want you to have to walk on it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come to dad. How are you walking on it today? Can you come here? Can you come here? Is she walking now? No, she just... Oh, there she goes. Oh. <laughs> you look like a little pirate. You look like a little pirate with a pig leg. <sighs> today has been one hell of a day. One hell of a week. Like I said, it's been, it's been a rough, rough rough week no pun intended it's been rough it's been rough uh grandma hasn't been doing well you guys saw that video a couple days ago where i was over there and i didn't work out um sounds like she had a stroke today a mini one maybe yesterday my mom's in town so we're gonna rush over to the hospital here later on i know it's gonna be a, a short video because besides that i have to pack tonight for for australia and to be honest i probably wouldn't be going i'd probably call this event off we were gonna have courtney stay home with poppy um obviously because of her broken leg but we're just gonna shorten up our trip by a week renee's gonna watch poppy which breaks my heart doesn't it and then hopefully i don't know when my mom's supposed to leave but my grandma that's it that's the issue that is really now starting to kind of stress me out and man when people have said before you know steve i have a lot of things going on in my life i always thought i had a lot of things or or you know certain times stresses i've been through stresses i was divorced and moving and things like that but i can't i can't you know i can definitely say that running businesses leaving optimum launching a clothing line launching a gym launching our app being at the having to be at the gym you know daily doing daily youtube videos and then this, it's, um, sometimes I'm like, what am I doing? I need to, I need to minimize the, everything that's going on in my life and just try to pick one or two things and excel at them. I feel like I'm doing too much right now, but still trying to be grateful that, you know, she didn't get more hurt or trying to have some kind of positive outlook on everything. And it's not always easy to do that. So I think if anything, this can just make me more compassionate for when other people empathize and sympathize with people more when I hear about the things that other people are going through because you know, working out becomes something that is a luxury rather than something that you have to do. It becomes something that like you get to do because everything else in life is just crazy out of control. Um, we're excited to come to Australia though. Excited to, to see everyone and to be there with the Gymshark family. It should be an exciting thing. And uh, we're gonna be FaceTiming with this one all along the, the whole the whole whatever eight days we're there. It's gonna be a quick trip, a long trip for just being there eight days. But yeah, I hope you guys, hope from anything like you guys can just, I don't know if anything, relate. It's not, the world's not all sunshine and butterflies. I know on Instagram, on social media, everyone's life always looks so perfect, but you know, YouTube, I think a lot of times highlight reels are what you see. A lot of times, you know, when you dedicate yourself to daily videos, you're gonna see some bad days too. And this is, this is a bad day, but tomorrow there's a chance of it being a good day. All right, snuggles with this one do make me feel better though.
I'll see if you can go potty.